Ladies and gentlemen, let's have him hear ya. For his first time in work, Automotive Rush Shirt Late Model Feature Event winner, the four car of Philip Bubeck. Getting handshakes from some of the officials here, Pittsburgh's Pennsylvania Motor Speedways, Pitt Stewart Smokey Shem promoter Matt Miley, now making his way over to the front of the car. Well, sir, you are no stranger to Victory Lane. However, not so much in this car. You pick up your first here in the Rourke Automotive Rush Dirt Late Models. A little bit of an emotional celebration here for you, but nonetheless, a joyous one. Oh, most definitely. You know, a lot of hours get put in, and, you know, I can't thank the Luke Ons and Bill and April Tennant enough. I mean, everyone who helped me all over the years. And it's just been a great opportunity to drive all these different types of races, be able to win these different races and be able to compete with these guys is a big deal for me you talk about competing with these guys phil you had a car last year that i believe was like from 2002 the car was older than just about the same age as you you upgraded this year to a car that is now 10 years old and you're out there competing with guys with chassis that are brand new from rocket this year so you're getting it done in competition that is relatively outdated but as Bill Tennant always says, it's not about the car, it's about the driver. And you got it done here tonight, your first career feature win, the sixth different winner in Rush Late Model competition here this season. You put your name on that list. I tell you what, man, congratulations. You've earned this one. How does it feel? It feels amazing. Like I said, again, I can't thank everybody enough, especially Lucons. You know, they let us keep the car over there and help us week in and week out. Kyle's always giving me different tips and different things to try, different things to try and I just can't thank them guys enough. You know, without their help, we couldn't be here. You got a big race coming up here in just one month, the Herb Scott Memorial Rush Touring Series race. You picked up a B main win in the Rush Touring Series uh, touring race last year, but this one's a lot bigger. It's an A main win. Do uh, you got your goal set a little high for those races coming up now? Are you looking to maybe knock some of those big regional guys off and take one home for the local drivers? Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to give it a shot. You know, we'd just be happy to get in and to get a top 10. You know, getting in's a big deal, you know, so if we can get in and possibly get a top 10, that'd be super exciting. Well, I'll tell you what, you have all the more reason to be excited here tonight, but real quick before we let you go, sponsors that help make this all happen, crew that help make this all happen. Uh, my pap, my dad, and like I said, the Lucons, and my uh, Bill and April Tennant, you know, for helping me out. That's their motor and tranny from last year and everything. I can't thank any of them guys enough. And everybody else that helps on the car, the Quags, everybody that helps. I can't thank you guys enough. Phil, I told you one of these days this race is coming, and it was only a matter of time, and it has happened. Philip Ubeck, congratulations. You are a feature winner for the Royal Rock Automotive Rush Shirt Late Models. Ladies and gentlemen, let him hear it. For your first time feature winner in the Royal Rock Automotive Rush Shirt Late Models, the four car out of Colliers, West Virginia, Philip Ubeck.